there's a fish. Oh, I lost it. Oh. So, g'day, folks. Welcome to another PTP fishing and a new location. So, I'm on the Brisbane River. Um, I got invited along by Joe to come and join him this morning. So, something I've never done before. Uh, a little bit of Brisbane River fishing, so it'll be an interesting PTP fishing. I've had my first bite of the morning already, as you would have seen. I really don't know what to expect. All I know is it's bloody nice to be on the water. It's bloody nice to be somewhere new. I'm really looking forward to bringing it to you. Welcome to another PTP fishing. That does look super fishy in there. Super fishy. Hard in there. <laughs> How awesome is that? <laughs> oh, thought I'd hooked up to the snag and there was a fish. Yeah. There you go, my first ever Brisbane River bass. It's not a bad one either. So there you are, my first ever Brisbane River bass. He'd be, I reckon, getting very, very close to 40 centimetres. So, so I'm using, as per normal, Obsession spinnerbaits, but that's the red claw colour. Um, why am I using a spinnerbait? Spinnerbaits are relatively snag free. So it means I can explore the water without sort of hooking up to everything that's bloody under the water. So uh, it's my second bite of the morning. Nice fish. Thankfully, I've got that stinger hook on there as well because uh, without that, this fish wouldn't wouldn't be on the end of my line. Anyway, Joe's laughing in the background over there. Looks like he's got another one as well. I think that's number three for him. Anyway, tag measure, and I'll come back to you. Super stoked with that. Right on forty centimeters. Beautiful fish. See you later. Hopefully, there's a few more. In fact, I know there's going to be a few more. Oh, another one tight on the string. So that little one, this one. Wowee. That's the way it's going to be today. Then these casts are going to have to be good. <laughs> anyway, that's very cool. That's Get a good cast in there. That's a fantastic cast.
honestly think that fish took that off the surface. <laughs> so there's obviously lots of little fish in here, huh? So this one actually, my surf, my hard body was fouled up and he took it off the surface. Get the funny feeling that there's going to be more fish along that edge. Oh, not if you cast there, that won't be. How good does this little corner here look? <laughs> Another little one. Come on. I don't want little guys like you, I want bigger ones. Come on. A little one. <laughs> it's better than catching nothing, I suppose. Isn't it? Come on, my little friend. Not as little as the last couple. doing something wrong. Alright, I'm due for a bite again. There we go, change lures, see if that makes a difference. Similar style of lure, just different brand. So hard to believe, but we're a long way up the Brisbane River and Joe has picked up a beautiful flathead, 59 and a half centimetres. He's been kind enough to let me tag it, pop her in the water, and away she shoots. There's Joe over there. <laughs> He's hidden behind the tree. Surely I can change my luck in here. That was a shit cast. Oh, God, that's freaking crazy. That is... Oh, look at the other guy with him. <laughs> that is nuts. It's the same as before. Didn't even get a wine. Fish was on already. Oh, well, that's broken the drought. So there that is. That's the first fish for me for quite a while. I've been... Swapping between hard bodies and chained hard bodies, I did all sorts of stuff. Thought oh, I'll bugger it. I go back to the spinnerbait, and within five minutes, I've got myself a nice fish. So, uh, or a better fish, obviously, than all those little guys that I was getting earlier on. There was another one in there with him too, so um, I'd unhook him, get a tag in him, and see if I can catch his mate. There you go. Oh, sugar. There you go, 34 centimetres. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can get his mate that's in the tree in behind me there. So crazily enough, there was another fish sitting in there. There he is. <laughs> I don't think that's the same one as I saw before. That's a little fella. <laughs> so I've gone all of these areas, caught nothing. And there's two and two casts. 
smaller fish. I know his mate's in there still, so let's stay out of there because we're going to catch him too. So something interesting I notice with a lot of these fish is yeah, they've got problems with their top fin. It's about the third one of the ones that I've caught so far that have had that. Anyway, they're obviously eaten and happy. Just look a little different. So going back to the spinnerbaits pay dividends. So let's see if there's another one in there. No, well, obviously uh, they're on to me, the ones that were in there. Yeah, that other one that came out and had a look at his buddy was definitely uh, another one of the bigger ones. Oh, nice to have a little run of fish. Another one. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. You can be thinking all bad things and then you have to find a little patch of fish and life changes. Or well, the trip changes anyway. A cool fish. Great choice to go back to that spinnerbait. Come here, little friend. I reckon that could well be the other one that I saw a little earlier. And again, there's that fin deformity again. It's really looking straight into the sun with this. But uh, anyway, 33 centimetres. A few bigger ones off this snag, which is nice. Nice little patch of fish too. So while I'm at it, may as well show you this spinnerbait as well. So as you know, Session Spinnerbaits is the new red claw colour. So I need to uh, really sort of natural sort of skirt natural head that rid of a red splash just to really signify you know injured bait fish um, something for the fish to see and uh yeah changing back to it has been a change of luck so uh get on to them the session spinnerbait bass series half ounce red claw color Oh, big bass. Oh, that was a big fish compared to all the others I've caught. I thought I had a bump to cast before. Okay, this isn't one of those bigger ones, but he certainly wasn't going to let it get away a second time, was he? I mean, not that I've done a lot of river bass fishing, but it seems to be the case is when you find them, take advantage of it because they can be a little fickle. He's a bit skinny, this boy. Yes, fish is definitely in need of a feed, but uh, long skinny one, 33 centimetres. See you later. That's a sneaky little cast. Oh, look at him. <laughs> I have no idea whether the camera will pick that up, but there was three bass just followed that up. That is crazy.
<laughs> and you know what? I got I found my lure up there and I went in and got it. And yet there's still back there. <laughs> That's funny. So I've missed the hook up everybody, but uh, I was just chatting away to Joe and thought oh, I'm gonna have a flick over there. That's actually not a bad fish either. So uh, I wasn't expecting to get a bite and that's mostly the times where you do get a bite. Anyway, that's a healthier fish. At least he's not as skinny as the last one. There we go, there's that last fish. Sorry I missed the hook up and please excuse the face mask, but uh, some silly bugger forgot his sunscreen this morning, so I'm trying to keep myself out of the sun. So 33 and a half centimetres, thank you. <laughs> there we go. Had to be another fish here. That's such a cool bite. Such a cool bite. Oh, get out. <laughs> Randy. That's awesome. Good cast. That's everything bass fishing should be, that one there. Oh, and he's having a go, this guy. Get in the net so I can get away from my snag. Yeah. That was such a cool bite. He's not the biggest fish I've caught today, but such a cool bite. Hard against the log, one wind on. You almost think you've snagged the log and that's what you've got. So uh, super stoked with that. Again, very, very happy I'd swap back to the spinnerbait. So that was such a cool take, not a bad fish, 34 centimetres, that I think I'm going to finish this PTP fishing on a good note. Nice way to finish, thank you so much to Joe to bringing or letting me tag along and come along to the Brizzy River here. I've had an awful lot of fun, we'll let this guy go. Most probably we're going to keep fishing so there may well be a part two of this uh, PTP fishing but for the moment I'm just going to enjoy the fact that when you cast right next to a log, fish grabs it, tries to take you home and you still win. That's a very, very cool way to do it. So don't forget Obsession Spinnerbaits. Good old red claw colour has done the trick and that certainly changed my, uh, changed my luck as I was going because I was flicking that little hard body around. No joy. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time from PTP Fishing. Thanks for watching.